Moxitumumab pseudotoxin, and we just call it Moxi, uh, is a bispecific, uh, is a, a monoclonal antibody that's a combination of an antibody directed at CD22, which is present on the majority of B cells, B cell malignancies, and a Pseudomonas exotoxin. Uh, so it's joined. The way that it works is the monoclonal antibody part binds to C20, CD22 on the surface of the tumor cell. It's incorporated into the cell and then the Pseudomonas exotoxin, which is a very, very highly potent toxic protein synthesis inhibitor, the first in its class, is metabolized, released, and then kills the cell. Uh, we've advanced this from phase one into phase three testing, and we've been able to do that because of the really high activity that we've seen in phase one testing. Uh, in hairy cell leukemia, which is a relatively uncommon but often fatal uh, malignancy in older patients, uh, in patients who had failed previous therapy and for whom there was no um, additional uh, approved therapy or any therapy that would work, uh, we've seen an over 90% response rate in patients who are going to receive the phase three dose. Um, over half of those responses are complete responses, approximately 55%. The majority of those complete responses are molecular complete responses. And what really was striking from that study was the durability of the responses, both complete and partial responses. The majority of patients who, res who have responded are still in a durable response after two years. And it's very well tolerated. So it's that combination of tolerability, a very high response rate, and durable responses that led the FDA when we presented that data to them to say, you know, we're very impressed with this data, please proceed to phase three, and uh, we would love to help you get this drug to patients. So we're very, very excited by that.